Hello everyone, I'm Mario from PI4 Italy and uh, this is one of the tutorial of uh, Nadre uh, repository and um, about in this tutorial we will see the programmatic interaction with uh, the Invenio based Nadre repository. In this tutorial we will see uh, after a brief uh, overview the search engine API that is a set of API provided by Invenio to uh, look for uh, uh, asset stored in, uh, in the repository. And we will see the XML API, the JSON API, and uh, a brief hands-on uh, on how to use these, um, these APIs. The last part of this uh, tutorial will focus the attention on how to upload files um, to the repository programmatically. And we will see the mark XML file that uh, uh, describe the resource you are going to upload. And uh, we will see also a brief uh, uh, hands-on on how to upload file using CRL, that is a command line tool to interact with a server via a command line interface. And we will see also some sample script that use PHP uh, language. For the purposes of this tutorial, you can refer to the uh, GitHub project uh, repository that collects uh, all the examples you will see in this, uh, you will see in this tutorial. And uh, to download uh, the repository, you can refer to the link in uh, this slide. Let me show you how to download the file. You can refer to the link uh, in the slide. And, uh, to download this repository on your uh, laptop, you can use the link here to clone the repository or just download the a zip file that contains uh, um, the, the repository. I'm going to save the file on my machine. Once the download complete, I can open the folder that contains uh, the archive. Here. here we have the folder and uh, just extract uh, the uh, archive in uh, a directory you prefer. I leave the downloads one. And inside another tutorial master folder, we have uh, all the example we will see in this uh, tutorial. This repository is organized in uh, some subfolder and you can refer to the search one for the search engine API example and to the submit one for the end zone on how to submit the file to the OER. I go back to the presentation and uh, search engine API allows you to uh, search digital asset in uh, the NADRE, restored in the NADRE repository. This can be done simply um, running HTML request. You can use the search API, search engine API, for example, to develop your own application that uh, interact with uh, um, the Nadre repository. Invenio offers three different kinds of uh, APIs. We, it offers uh, XML API, in which uh, the output will be returned in uh, XML format, and in particular, the standard used to um, format the output is the mark XML that is widely used in a digital uh, repository. But uh, because uh, Invenio internally stores record in, uh, in JSON, you can also ask to return the output in, uh, in JSON format. Another kind of API that uh, Invenio provides is uh, uh, the Python API. But, uh, this, um, this API will not, covered in, uh, will not be covered in this tutorial. The XML API. Using the XML API, Invenio replies with uh, an XML that contains the record found based on the query that you uh, perform. In the slide, you can see the syntax should be used. And uh, we have the search that is the entry point for the, the API. And then we have to create an HTML query with a set of parameters and values. For example, here we have uh, the query to get the first 10 records in XML format. 
And as you can see, we have uh, the NADRE endpoint, the search and entry point for the search engine APIs, and the set, the list of uh, uh, parameters and value. In particular, we, uh, here you can see the JREC uh, parameter that is uh, jump to record, and the value used here is one. So the um, search engine will start from the first hit of um, the first record in, uh, in the repository. Then we have the RG parameters, that means record, records in group. So how many records will be returned from the um, repository? And then we have output format parameter that, uh, in this case, you can specify XM to XM to get uh, output in uh, XML format. To know more about uh, f the, um, all the parameters that uh, Invenio provides, you can use the link in, uh, in the slide. Setting properly JREC and R RG uh, parameters, you can uh, implement pagination of the results returned by um, another repository. As you can see in, uh, in the slide, we have uh, three HTML query. The first one returns the first 10 records in the repository, starting, starting from the first one. Using uh, JREC value, setting JREC value to 11, the another repository will return the record from the 11th one, and then from the 21st to the, uh, to the others. It's mandatory to do not uh, set uh, RG uh, parameters to high because uh, there is a server-wide limit uh, to, um, for safety reason. In this slide, we have uh, some other uh, query that you can use to, for example, look for pattern in fields. So if you are looking for the records that contains, uh, the records that contain string access in the title, you can specify the P um, parameters. P, in stand, P stands for uh, pattern. And you can use the F parameters. F stands for field to search within. So if uh, you would like to search the first 10 record that contain the string ACFEST in the title, you can use the uh, query highlighted here. Another parameter that you can use to build your own query is the P1 parameter. P1 stands for first pattern to search. And in this case, uh, this parameter accepts uh, uh, this uh, syntax. For example, if you would like to find the, the first 10 records that contain uh, NADRE in keywords, and this record have to belong to uh, presentation NADRE, you can use uh, this query specifying the collection, column the collection where you want to uh, find the records, plus keyword column NADRE, and then uh, the JREC and RG parameter to paginate the results. Another important feature that uh, the Search Engine API provides is uh, to filter the records uploaded in a given period. This can be done using the D1 and D2 parameter, where D1 is uh, the first date of the period and D2 is the second date in the period. And finally, you can get uh, just a set of uh, uh, the attribute provided by uh, Invenio using uh, the output tags uh, parameter. The output tags parameters allow you to specify through a comma separated list of tags the, uh, the attribute returned by Invenio. As example, in this uh, slide, you can see uh, that I specified abstract, title, and authors. So the Invenio uh, response will contain just these uh, three attributes. Regarding the JSON API, because Invenio internally stores records uh, in, uh, in JSON, you can get uh, um, the output in JSON format simply specifying the output format to rec JSON. The syntax is exactly the same we see before. And here we have the same query um, that you saw for XML API, but in this case, I specify 
the output format to rec JSON. And here we have uh, the query to get the first 10 record in uh, JSON format. And uh, let me go quickly on uh, this slide because uh, this contains the same query you saw before, but uh, with uh, the output uh, format uh, in, um, in JSON. Here we have uh, the query to get the first 10 records that contain string ACFEST in the title. And as you can see, here we also specify output format in uh, RecJSON. The query we saw before to get the records in presentation NADRE. And uh, this record should contain NADRE in keyword. And at the same way, the um, query to get the record uploaded from a given data to another given data using the D1 and D2 parameters. Let me switch to the end zone part in which we will see uh, the search engine API in action directly from um, a live end zone. Let me show you this uh, API in action. Here we have uh, the uh, Nadre tutorial repository. And for this end zone, we will see the XML API with, uh, from, directly from uh, your browser and the JSON API through some command line uh, tools. Regarding the XML API, we will see the same query um, highlighted in the slide. And here, for example, we have the query to get the first 10 record in, uh, in the Nadre repository. So let me open it on another tab. And as you can see, Nadre replies with uh, uh, the list of records found. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10 records. And it shows that uh, the NADRE repository actually currently contains 23 um, records. So as I mm, told you before, you can implement the pagination just uh, changing the JREC uh, parameter. And here we have the next 10 record from the 11th one. And changing this to uh, 21, we will get uh, the last three records contained in, uh, in the repository. Going ahead with uh, the tutorial, in, at this link we will see the Mark XML standard. And in this link you can see all the metadata provided by the standard. Here you have the most important one, for example, the title, the um, author, the keywords, and, uh, and so on. And regarding the query to get uh, the first 10 records that contains uh, uh, ACFEST in the title, you can use uh, this link. Let me open it in another tab. And uh, as you can see, Invenio replies with uh, an XML file that contains two records. And these two records have uh, the uh, ACFEST word in the title. The title is uh, um, in the 245 uh, um, tag, as you can see here. Let me find it. Okay, here in uh, the attribute 245 and the subfield uh, A, you have the title, and the title contains ACFEST word for this record and also for this one. The last query we will see is uh, the query to get the record uploaded from a given data to another given data. And let me open it in another browser tab. And this uh, query will return uh, all the records that in uh, tag 260 have as um, a date uh, in the period you specified for this record and also for the other one. As you can see, this date belongs to the period you specified before. 
Regarding the JSON API, we will see this API in action using uh, uh, some command line tool. And what you have to do to perform this uh, uh, example, you have just to copy the command in a uh, command line uh, shell. Let me open my prompt, my prompt. And the tool I will uh, use are, the first one is CURL. CRL is a tool to transfer data from or to a server using a command line interface. And another tool I'm going to use is JQ. And JQ is a command line uh, JSON processor that is, it, it is used to um, prettify the output that um, in venue returns. To install JQ on a Ubuntu based machine, you can just perform um, apt install command. I have already installed it on my laptop, so I skip this step. And to perform the, um, the example, you have to just copy the command highlighted in uh, the GitHub repository. And and then pass, pass this command on a shell. Here we have the query to get the first 10 record in the another repository in JSON format. And as you can see, the output is uh, JSON formatted. Here we have the first 10 records. You can use uh, this JSON, uh, you can pass the this JSON to implement your own application that presents uh, the records in uh, Nadre in, uh, in your application. As I told you, you can implement pagination simply changing the JREC parameter. And this will return the next 10 records in, uh, in JSON format. And the same for the other, uh, the other query. So just copy the query to get uh, the first 10 records that uh, contains ACFEST string in, uh, in the title copy the command and paste in, uh, in the shell. I clear the previous output and paste the command. And in this case, um, Invenio replies with all the first 10 records that have ACFEST in uh, title. As you can see in the attribute title, here is more readable because the title is uh, alighted. You have ACFEST, the ACFEST word. Then we have also the query to get uh, the first 10 record belonging to the presentation NADRE collection that have NADRE in the, in the keywords. So running this command, Invenio will return all the records that belongs to the presentation NADRE. Here we have the collection attribute that is presentation NADRE. And these records have NADRE in keywords. Okay, the last query I'm going to perform is the one to filter the uh, attributes returned by Invenio to a list uh, of uh, um, parameter of attribute in which you are interested in. For example, this query will return the all, all just abstract title and author's uh, attribute. As I did before, I clear the previous output 
and paste the, the command. So here we filter for abstract, title, and authors. And as you can see, InVenue will reprise just with this uh, uh, attribute, abstract, title, and authors for each record. This is one record and the same for the other uh, records, abstract, title, and keywords, authors, sorry. This for all records. Okay, let me go back uh, to the presentation. And in this slide, before to go ahead, we have uh, the reference, uh, the search engine reference. So if you would like to know more about uh, um, XML, uh, JSON, and Python API of an invenue based OER, you can visit uh, this, uh, this guide. Okay, the last part of uh, this tutorial is uh, um, focused on how to upload records programmatically to the NADRED repository. The first thing you, uh, you have to do is uh, send INEP address authorization request, then uh, to the ad NADRED administrator. Then you can create uh, an XML file based on the Mark XML standard that describes the, res the resource you are going to upload and then submit this XML to uh, the NADRE repository using, in this case, uh, CURL. In the NADRE project repository, I created a um, generic submission to OER XML that you can use to customize and to use uh, for your own application. For example, you can use this file to upload records from your own digital repository to the NADRE one. And the file XML you have to create, as I told before, should be compliant, must be compliant with the Mark XML standard. In this file, you have to specify the records you are going to upload to the OER. This file must have only one collection, collection tag, and this collection tag can have more record that represent the resource you are going to upload. In, uh, in the record uh, tag, you, can, you will have many data field tag, and these tags contain the metadata that describes your resource. And uh, you can uh, know more about this uh, data field in, um, in the link I highlighted later. And, uh, Inside the, uh, the data field tags, you can find the subfield, many subfield that uh, specify the metadata values based on the code attribute. In the slide, we have uh, a piece of XML file that describes a resource. And in this slide, I try to better explain uh, this, uh, the XML file. For example, in uh, the data field tag, the tag 024 represents the digital object identifier, and in particular, the uh, subfield that, uh, that has code, that has A as code. Here, you have to specify the digital object identifier for the resource you are going to upload. And in um, the subfield with code true, you have to specify the type of identifier because uh, in venue support in different uh, uh, digital object identifier. In particular, the 024 tag is a mandatory tag and a not repetitive tag. So you must have just one 024 tag in your XML. Another important field you have to specify is uh, the 100 tag, that is the main author of the resource. And also this tag is mandatory and not repetitive. So here you specify the main author of the resource. In the subfield with code A, you specify the name of the author. In the subfield with code V, you specify the affiliation. And in um, subfield with code W, you specify the country in uh, subfield with code J, the ORCID ID. And this file, this um, 
tag is mandatory and not repetitive. So you must have just one main author for your records. If you would like to specify the other authors of uh, um, a resource, you can use the 700 tags. And this time this tag is not mandatory and you can repeat this tag uh, many times, one per each authors of your resource. Another important uh, uh, tag is uh, keyword that as you saw before uh, has a tag 653 and this tag is a not mandatory tag and repetitive tag so you can specify this tag many times uh, for each keyword that uh, you want to use. And then we have the collection tag that is a mandatory tag and not repetitive. This tag is identified by the number 1980. To know more about uh, the uh, Mark XML, you can uh, have a look at uh, the link highlighted in, uh, in this slide that it is the same you saw before during the previous uh, end zone. Now we will move to the last uh, end zone for this uh, tutorial in which we will see how to programmatically upload records uh, to the NADRE repository. To perform this example, you can refer to the uh, NADRE uh, tutorial repository on, uh, on GitHub. And in particular, uh, for this tutorial, we will use uh, the submit subfolder. Here we have uh, the repository. And as you can see, it consists of uh, four subfolder. The asset subfolders that contains uh, the sample object uh, used uh, in, uh, in the example. We have also the CRL folder uh, that consists of uh, some um, a markdown file that contains uh, the command you have to issue to um, perform uh, the example. Then we have the PHP folder that uh, contains uh, some simple PHP script to upload the file to OER using PHP language. And then we have the XML folder that contains the file that describes the resource for this uh, example. It contains also the template that you can use to, uh, in your application to upload the file to another repository. While the other XML file are the example on how to upload different digital object to the OER. This one, for example, is for an image submission. And uh, this file has uh, some comments to um, help you to understand the uh, tags meaning. OK, let me go to the um, another tutorial repository I downloaded at the beginning of this tutorial. And inside the uh, submit folder, you have uh, the same structure we saw in the browser. And uh, we will see this uh, API in action um, through the command line. So I changed the directory to the, download, the downloaded uh, repository on my laptop inside the submit CRL folder. And as you can see, this folder contains uh, uh, some markdown files that uh, uh, have the, um, uh, the, commas, the command you have to uh, use to perform this example. I go back to uh, the directory above, and I open this file on my favorite uh, text editor, editor. In this case, I use Atom, but you can use uh, your own, your favorite one. And as I told you, the CRL uh, folder contains uh, the readme file that uh, have a little explanation on how to use uh, this example. Then we have uh, the other um, MD file for one for each digital object uh, in used for this tutorial. For example, in the image one, you have uh, the command to upload an XML resource to the NADRE repository. As you can see, it has uh, the command and the, it is uh, uh, CRL, where 
you, um, I specify the XML file that describe the resource, in this case, image submission to OER XML, and it has also the expected output. Under the XML folder, I'm opening the image submission to OER XML, and you have to replace the placeholder in the 024 uh, tag that is the DOI. And to create a new DOI, I provided you a simple Python script that uh, create DOI based on uh, the system timestamp. To create a new DOI, you have just to execute this script as I did here. It will generate a new DOI for you. I just copy this DOI and replace it in the XML here under the 024 tag. I, recopy, I replace this placeholder with the actual uh, DOI. Then I will edit some other tags. For example, I will edit the authors or I will edit also the date of publication. Let me say, for example, I put here 28th of July 2018. Then I will edit also the author of the record with my name. I will edit also the affiliation, University of Catania. Then we have the country and also the ORCID ID that you have to replace with your own ORCID ID. As I told you, this uh, tag must be, um, there, um, there must be just one 100 tag that is uh, the main author of the resource. To specify other authors, uh, you can use the, 70 and the 700 uh, tag when you can specify all the authors of uh, the resource. Here you have the 700 tag, where you specify also the author name, the affiliation, uh, the country, and the ORCID ID. Then we have uh, the 653 tag that represent the uh, keywords for, of your record. And here I will edit uh, the keywords with uh, another keyword, then I will edit the other one where I specify another tutorial. Then I will add another keyword, just copy this one and edit with uh, programmatic interaction with uh, OER. Okay. Then another important uh, field you have to specify in your XML file is uh, the FFT uh, tag, where you have to specify the URL where uh, the resource uh, is stored. So for example, here you can put uh, the endpoint of your uh, digital uh, um, library where the um, asset is currently stored. And this will be used by Invenio to retrieve the, uh, the digital object. Once you have uh, completed uh, uh, in uh, edit, once you have completed to edit uh, this file, you have just to save it and go back uh, to the markdown file and just copy the command in, uh, in a shell and I will copy this command here. I just change uh, the directory because uh, the XM XML file is uh, a direct in the XML directory. So when you perform this command, Invenio will reprise with uh, an answer like this one. 
That means that you have successfully uploaded the file to the OER. At the same time, an email uh, is, uh, will be sent to, um, another, uh, to the administrator of the repository. And the administrator will review the um, submission you have done. And if uh, everything is OK, we'll publish these um, records on, on the repository. Now the last uh, part of uh, this end zone, in which uh, we will see how to upload records using PHP script. And for example, I will upload a presentation. So I refer to the presentation submission to OER PHP. And here we have a really simple uh, script that uh, accept the um, API, API endpoint, as you can see here. And uh, inform me if you, if you don't specify the end, entry point. And uh, it uh, will use the XML presentation submission to OER XML file. So as I did before, I will edit, uh, I'm editing this file, replacing the DOI placeholder. So I generate a new DOI for this resource, executing the Python script. I copy the DOI and replace it in 0.24 tag here. Then I'll, uh, I'm going to edit uh, the um, publication date with uh, 28 of July. Then I will uh, edit uh, the author with my name. I will edit also the affiliation And then in the other field, we have also the country, the ORCID ID, and, uh, and so on. I will edit, uh, yes, for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, the, uh, the keywords. Here, I, I will, I'm going to specify NADRE. And in the other keywords, I will, have, I will leave uh, the ones that we have. So to perform this uh, script, I go inside the PHP script uh, folder and I will use the PHP CLI command that you can uh, install on your system using the, uh, the package distributed in, uh, for, your, uh, for your own operating, operating system. I will use PHP, then I specify the file that contains the script and then the endpoint of Nadre repository, nadre.ethernet.edu.it. So the first parameter is the PHP script, and the second one is the uh, API endpoint. Performing this command, Invenio will reply with an answer like the, the one mm, you saw before. And at the same way, the administrator will receive an email, and they can uh, review your, uh, your submission. So let me go back uh, to the presentation to wrap up and uh, to draw some conclusion. And here we have uh, um, some reference to know more about uh, the BIB upload um, and um, about the Mark XML standard. And the API you saw in this tutorial can be used to create your own application to, for example, uh, the search engine API can be used to create an, appli an application that interact with uh, the Nadre repository to create uh, a new interface, for example, or uh, other thing. And thank you very much for, for your attention.